being neutral. But the important thing is, no one was expecting it out of Dubasic in the first place. Um, you know, she was a very wacky character, no one really played her, and Dubasic was just super clean uh, with her at the time. Um, big streamer as well, you know, he, he, he streams all the time. Uh, back even in Justice 2, where he used to do it mainly, but MK11, I feel like he's live almost every day. But it is always Jade, and Jade, I feel Jade is, is honestly an incredible character in this game. She is so effective at countering what a lot of players do in this game, right? She is one of the premier defensive characters, you know, very slow paced in comparison to others, but she's not only about that, you know, she has decent pressure, she has good buttons, she has good pokes, one of the better downfalls in the game, amazing range, like, she is quite a complete package. All she doesn't really have is huge damage output, and even then, she does have combos, just not through traditional means, necessarily. But she's still going to be ending every string into, like, mad plus frames, which she can turn into more damage or pressure. Yeah, she's just quite complete. Sick combo. Did you see that? Indeed. I, I would be quaking in my boots. Actually, there's more to meets the eye. The fact that you got like five or six down ones are actually pretty tight <laughs> to get that many times in a row. Was it, you see this? That's you in the corner in 30 seconds from now. Right, so this is another winner's quarterfinal game in this uh, second pool. An interesting matchup, Scarlet versus Jade. Most of the tools that Scarlet has are able to be uh, glowed out of, with the exception of a couple. And I think Scarlet versus Jade is all about knowing which projectiles you have as Scarlet that can crush the glow when it's active. Well, it's, it's a bit of a weird one. Because um, I, I, I feel like pretty much all of like the premier defensive characters have at least one special that will go through Jade's glow. And that usually defines the long range game. But it does also mean that typically you're going to see Jade players being a lot more aggressive than normal because of that. And like I said, Jade isn't bad at rushdown. You know? She's got decent strings. The, ooh, the read on the parry. We can already Mad see. We can that. already see that Dubasic is really staggering the hell out of Ooh. that back three. Yep, and only uh, the 2-4 connects, which means a full combo. Oh, raw parry into a generous amount of health regen. I still think that's by far one of the strongest things about Scarlet is her ability to just heal. Ooh. Oh, hits two of them back to back. I'm really, really happy that NRS changed that so it goes from three shadow kicks to two because then it becomes way more viable if you hit that amplified there, shadow There's kick. a reason we never saw it way back when and we see it all the time now, right? It's just way more realistic. I mean, the amplified shadow kick just makes the crushing blow instantly locked and loaded and if the opponent's going to squirm on wake up and they get clipped, I mean, it's just free damage. I mean, you can anti-air, you can whiff punish. Like, it really forces the opponent to kind of sit there for a bit and respect it. Now we're going to see do basic. He has the life lead. Oh, jumps straight over the tongue. Just cleared it. And he's really oh. actually spending a lot of this first game testing Mudrak to see if he knows the answers to that back 3-4-3-4. Three, four, three, four. Well, there are elements to Jade's pressure that are, I don't want to say gimmicks, but there are answers for them. They um, require knowledge. Yes, but they do require knowledge. Okay, that's going to work. You see Dubasic really mixing up his pressure here. Another parry attempt. The delay, Mudrak. Not going to fall for it twice. Oh, the teleport. Okay, anti-air. Now there's the glow. So now, they're already going to shut down the projectile game, but... Oh, good parry attempt, but again, not going to work. Nothing from Mudrak. I wonder if he was anticipating the uh, fatal blow. Oh, the short hop, I like it. Oh, the delayed grab. Oh, block on the overhead. He must have been absolutely convinced that that was going to punish. Because it already dedicated... Oh! Oh, we can't roll into it. Mudrak. Playing really clean himself. I'm actually really liking this matchup. No, Mudrak. Let's not forget, actually, yeah, worth mentioning, this is his first tournament ever. Yeah. I spoke to him yesterday. This is Mudrak's first ever tournament. Okay, the Ovet's going to connect, and that obviously is a launcher to give Jade a nice amount of damage here. Almost 300. And Ooh, there's okay. the test. You want to interrupt my gap, then eat this staff spin, man. Knock down into more pressure. And I feel like, oh, he played so well, but ultimately, the moment you're cornered by Jade and do basics able to really get a lock on how he's conditioned you to deal with that back three string, that was just a playground. I mean, Jade's corner pressure is strong. You know, it's not the flashiest in the game, but Lord is it effective. You know, it's, it's like you said before, whenever Jade thinks you're going to try and flawless block or interrupt any of the gaps in the strings, normally, you know, the four kicks, you know, between the third and fourth, there is a big gap. If he thinks he's going to do it, he's just going to go for the staff spin. And if it connects, he gets like 20% at least for it, but only in the corner. I feel like Dubasic was buffering the shadow kick off that. It only connected at max range. Oh, I don't there think it, it would have happened if he pressed no buttons. I drag calling out the delay. Oh, the crouch under, but big plus frames. Respect shown by DeBasic. Oh, throw escape. Yeah, and that. Scarlet, you, know, you might not assume it, given the, the nature of her game plan, but crushing blow throws for days. So you have to be very careful when it comes to uh, teching. Good flawless box coming out of DeBasic. Understandably, he has a lot of knowledge here. And I really like the... Um, 
the boomerang because normally they're, they're super plus on hit, right? You can't combo off them, but you're still given a situation afterwards. And Jade, if she's going to play this slow, calculated game and just go one button at a time and do basic, is really staggering his offense. I like it a lot. Oh, Toes with the grab, no punish from Dubasic, but he has a huge lead. He can just afford to try chipping him out maybe at this point. Oh, jump back kick. Oh, and rolls straight into the glaive, and that's going to take Dubasic into match point already. Mudrak, he's not playing badly by any means, but I feel like Dubasic always has the life lead, so it feels like he has to play catch up all the time. But I think it takes a certain kind of player that is to be Ooh. comfortable enough to actually play a slow, a slow paced match. Um, and that's what do basic does. I think that's why Jade seems to be such a good pick for him because you know, he plays these really calm and calculated female characters in previous NRS games, and Jade is a further extension of that. And not everyone actually has the patience to make her work the Ooh. way she has to. He's flawless blocking that every time he's do basic. The problem with Jade, like, even if you've got good flawless blocks, her up two is not great. You know, it, it doesn't go very far. Doesn't have the best hitbox in the world. So a lot of the time, you'll see Jade have to resort to up three after flawless blocks. So you, you make the read, but going for the up three is like very meter intensive. And it's not always worth it. Sometimes it's better to just take the flawless block raw and just take the difference in frame advantage. Do basic. And we can see he's, he's slow that he has no reason to overextend. Ooh. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that fatal blow attempt actually using the armored properties. That would have blown, uh, blown through a flawless block up three. Okay, big damage. Is it enough to bring Madrak back into the fight though? That's the question. Just enforcing the uh, slight plus frames of uh -oh. the uh, back three, four, three, four. Just watch out for Chip at this point. Basic. Oh, that was close. Yeah, this is a scary he can't time. Trade. The basic, he's going to be happy to trade at this point. Chip, chip. Oh, and there it is. No last breath remaining. And you know that's going to be absolutely guaranteed. But do basic. Very calm and calculated. And that's going to result in a 2 0, but a well fought 2 0, I think. No, absolutely. Uh, he played well, but. It's just do basic playing it well, right? You know, he managed to get the life lead all the time. He was able to kind of sit and, and defend on it. Um, a big thing in the Jade matchup is uh, like the specifics. You know, it's a very popular thing for, for Jade players to resort to. I think these gentlemen are ready to go. It might be a Jade versus Scorpion. Scorpion is locked in. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, shit. You do have Jade on the other side so that. Wow. All right. The mix up. Ah. That's, always, that's the worst uh, mix-up. That's, uh, that's, that might be foreshadowing. <laughs> that might be foreshadowing. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's going to be Jade versus Scorpion. Scorpion pick, in my opinion, does make sense. Kind of nullifies the zoning if his reactions are on point, however they are. Ooh, X, speaking X, of reactions. Yes, Xaziz himself admits that reactions are his weakness. Do we have <laughs> yes. the names back here? Um, yes. I think the basic, the basic is, the one is playing Jade. Yeah, yes, he is definitely playing. Cool. Jade. All right. Yeah, we'll get those switched. Power on ship. Talk to me. What's going on? Ooh, he was looking for the big parry, no? And then try to get the timing where he can punish if it's amplified or not. But he didn't quite get it. A few frames off. The down four. Such a pain to deal with. Safety, and then yes. And then again, you can see him waiting. All right. He hasn't quite found the timing. Kind of rookie start. Hey, was that a hook for I mean, it happened. <laughs> he did it, it did. <laughs> you don't have to question it. Double dash in into grab. What's it gonna be? Nice uh, down one two. One of the best down twos. Oh, he was looking for the wake up. And then, oh. again, that's not a confirm use. He's just oh. bringing it out. Neutral jump. Wait a minute, this is gonna be clutch. What's it got? Oh, okay. out of the sky. We already saw that before. We've seen that twice in that one round. Yes, sir. That was a reaction. Round one goes to the basic. Kind of a scramble. Let's be in there. Okay, so XZ has seen that a few times. Now he's going for the teleport in the sky. It keeps it very simple and kind of unorthodox. I don't know, maybe, maybe he actually wants her to be full screen. Man. Yeah, you're talking about reactions right there, and that has been a problem. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, he didn't block the low. I told you, man. Here we go, the basic in the corner. Harassment. Ah, oh, what a call out. What a down two after a hit no down escape? one. No she can actually do the. Yeah, she does 400. Wait, people say she doesn't have damage. What's that all about? That's the rumor. <laughs> the myth. The myth, yeah. Double down one. XLZ is double down one. Oh, keeping it very light right now. The no basic still escape. pressuring here. It's a bad spot now for Aziz. Yes. And that was it. Just as soon as that corner control happened, that was it. That was rough. XLZ is definitely in trouble here. What's it going to be, though? There will be a switch. The question is to who? I think you're right about the character pick. If, you're, if you believe that the Jade player is going to play a zoning game, then okay. Scorpion is a way to get around that, but that wasn't even the game. Yes, he didn't even need the zoning. Yeah, Shang Tsung, unfortunately, not just legal yet. Can't do it yet. Evo Boys, that's when he's officially becoming legal in the MK11 Pro competition. So, 
Exorcist is thinking about Kodal this. Kotal Khan. So like before, <laughs> Mad he goes to Kotal Khan. He's shaking his head already. The deal. Is that the right choice? <laughs> I mean, he's shaking his head. That's not a good. That's not a good sign, is it? Well, we'll see. All right. It did work out for him last time, but now he's up against two basic. By the way, this is to get into winners' finals of their pool. Uh huh. So this is an important match. Fight. Oh, a little late. Ah, Tango. Sun is out. And now you can definitely see more of the zoning style of Jade, of course. Of course. How is he going to contest it? With the pizza? I don't know. Yeah, keeping it slow. I really like this right now. He basically is playing this fine. Sun is there. She's getting burned. Yeah. He's getting, uh, you know, some health back. Let's see if this pressure comes in the corner now. It was so good in the last game. Yeah, it looked very strong in the corner. However, we switch positions just like that. What's it going to be? Wake up, okay, jump. Got down it. Keep two. it up. Okay. Nice conversion there. Yeah, out of the corner, but that's all you got. Yeah, we'll lose no much damage. Here. Unfortunately, he doesn't get a lot of Oki off the command grab. No, no, time. yeah. All right, no more blow. And what a yes. whip punish wow. with the wiggle. Yes, nice back two there. And another. Oh, we're waiting, I guess, for the Amplify, but that's the game. Uh oh, very even match so far. Is it going to be the Sun? Two Aye. for two. Exos is in trouble. Nobody Big trouble. Nobody expects it. Oh, yeah, as soon as he went up into the sky, that was going to be a match point. Match points do basic. Exaziz. Round two. So far, trying to find an answer to this um, Jade. Yeah, the character pick is, I mean, it worked out last time, but this time, as we were saying, there's just not that many options for this character here. I mean, it's Kotal Khan. It's Kotal Khan, yes. Yeah, right? He does have some stuff going for him, but this is a match that seems like it will be tough. And he didn't use the... The uh, unblockable ones here. No resets, no gimmicks. I don't know. I don't think it's even come up. He had that one corner command grab, and other than that, he hasn't really gotten close enough to pressure much. Yeah, he got here it is, sequence. though. This might be the sequence he needs. Is he going to rush in? I there we're you go. talking about there it. There you go. There you go. Up three, though. Way too far. Both with him. This is Fatal Blow territory. XAZ is on life support here. The pizza. Hoping to walk up into the sunlight there, but no! Get a 10, baby, get a 10. Chip. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, he's in big trouble. Uh oh, the corner and the down. So two. ready for it. Did you see how long they basically just waited there <laughs> looking for it? He was fishing. Definitely fishing. Exactly right. So that means that do basic qualifiers for winners' finals of the uh -huh. pool versus Dizzy. Oh, wow. That's right. That should. Glowable. For some reason, even Scorpion's uh, spear counts as a. As a projectile. It does count as a projectile. Yeah, so oh, it's, okay. it's not the craziest thing in the world if uh, even the drone would count as a projectile at this point, now that I think of it. But, uh, yeah, it does indeed look like the matchup we were expecting, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm. Well, we'll see if that comes up, huh? No, that would be, that's super interesting. I don't think I've seen this matchup before on this level, but, uh, you know, the wiggle stick? Yeah. Is that a tool, a reliable tool to keep Sonya from coming in and mixing you to death? I mean, the name of the game for sure for DeBasic is going to be keeping wow. Sonya out. Wow! Did you see that he, he, he tech the throw in a in a button check? Did he button check tech? What is that all about? Genius. Was that just a reflex? Like get out of <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> Combo check. Don't let him do it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give him a chance. Yeah, I hope that was DZTT just denying it. Yeah, exactly. Enough down ones. Yeah, come on. Get out of here. Let's move on. Main menu? Or well, there's something wrong? Alright. Tournament. Gentlemen looking good to go. So we've already seen one strong UK player get through winner's side of their bracket. That was Foxy, of uh -huh. course. And now Tizzy's got a chance to do it again. Same. Two players, top 16 winners. Yeah. Good position. Alright, there's the fist bump to make it official. Here we go. Go. Both deep in the brackets already in their pool. Yeah, both already having taken out some significant names. None of these pools is easy, that's for sure. For sure. Big names all around. Round one. Big names Fight. as the day progresses. But this all right, here is we go. Ooh, confident start there from the basic, but is he just as confident in the anti-air? As you were. As you were. 
Okay, will we see the glow? We might have an answer to our question. Yeah, I'm just curious, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Proof of concept. There all right, is. here all right, we go. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh no, it didn't come through. <laughs> but wait a minute, since uh, Dizzy did that, he might know that it does not count as a projectile. Dang, that's a punish from that range. Wow, that's really good. To basically keeping his eyes open on that one. That is actually sick. That, that super was super strong, yeah. Look at the no, Torcon in, in the back. Yeah, he's hanging. He's getting hyped. Yeah, threaten the jump wow. in. Wow, well, yeah, I mean, Dizzy had the answer last time. Tried to this. No, there you go. Uh oh. Uh huh. The glow? Yeah, it went right through the glow. It beat it. No! Into what? Two basics still back here trying to control ah. space. Nope. Yeah, take the money. Got a little over eager. Just getting the grab. All right, we found an answer to our question. Yes, that we is, did. That is good. That is good. Round two. Fight. Trying to move forward here. Dizzy trying to get the point for himself. He's almost there. Yes. Wow. Oh, nice. The dirtiest stuff. And didn't amplify to get out of the corner. He's still in here. Oh, oh. that was two for two. Okay. This time the Amplify comes. I feel like he's gotten that every time we've seen him on stream. Yeah, right? The low. Oh, back to range here. The basic looking great. Looking very good. Low again. Wake up jump. Oh! I Big what call. call. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, this is bad news. Could no, punish, punished. David. Yeah, that really could have been close to the uh -oh. round. Oh, wait a minute. The reset. Dizzy TT. He can definitely take this here. On the verge of a comeback here. Standing 3-3. Three, three. Uh, uh. Whoa! Oh, sick! Oh. Looking for something. Ah! And now Dizzy ends up doing it. That was almost Very scrambly at the end. incredible. Back-to-back -back comebacks from these gentlemen, respectively. That was a Super sick close. game one. Sick game one that was. Wow. Stretching out a bit is the basic. All right, all right. Stretch those muscles, baby. What is he looking for there? Some support maybe from the crowd? All right. <laughs> See how he handles it here. Dizzy TT just looking like he really wants to go Round back to bed. Non-plus, yeah. I don't know. All right, game two here. He did start off, basically did start off last round a little bit offensively. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, right the in drop there. from space. Hello. Again. Really impressed with the flawless box. Yeah, not much meter now. Into base on the approach. See if he goes in. Yes. Gets a lot of individual hits here. Yeah, it's still this offensive style. I mean, it's not big pressure, obviously, but he is pushing Dizzy into the corner generally. Nice blocks. Flawless box again. Oh, oh really? wow! Of all the things he blocked in flawless block, the second hit of the onion ring. Does not block it. Now this is... Oh, wait. punish! He could definitely take... Huh? Yeah, I don't know how this scale... Wow, this is okay. looking very yeah, good. Right. Wow. All right, yeah. I saw one shield. I see a skull. Yeah, that's not going to quite do it, but puts him in a good... No, nope. David, nope. what? No, nope. it's enough. Wow. It's enough. The scaling of that was incredibly good. It's just a couple hits beforehand. Fight. And back to to basic now. It's the style where he sort of threatens like he's going to zone and then ends up coming in anyway. I'm really wondering why the basic doesn't opt to go with more blows at you know the safe ranges. And no kick either. Right there, for example. Yeah, right. That definitely could have been time. Okay, here it is. You can still, still has to deal with that. Maybe you just think it's not worth it, considering that the sky drop is still something he has to contend with. Oh yeah. yeah. But he's doing oh, Hello. He call out and wow. indeed does get the juggle. That was almost a full screen confirmed. That was sick. And then Diz Dizzy froze now as he was looking for the second kick. <laughs> Nothing came. The basic looks very strong here in game two. Yeah. Oh, that oh, is huge. That allows Dizzy to move forward into the corner. I say that, but this is Corner City. We know what she does in the corner. Bully you. Yeah, but no offensive bar. No cancels. Significantly less dangerous. Okay, has one now. Jump in. Jumping from Dizzy. Keeps it grounded. Oh! Right gets clipped by the low. Now, this is not going to kill, but we'll put him in a very comfortable position. What's it going to be, Dizzy? Uh huh. Okay, no more offensive bar now. No punish. That will, ah, oh, the throw takes. He's still alive. How is he still alive? Oh. And then jumps in a little 
recklessly, unfortunately. Dizzy ready. It's a match point for him. Nice standing three anti air there. Dizzy TT on match point here. The switch comes. And. Okay, he's forward. We're definitely not seeing a lot of uh, throw attacks from DC. Maybe because he's so afraid of all those mids. Uh -huh. Back here it is, yeah. A little bit of screen control added to basic. Last block there. Staggers Slow. it. Oh, okay, yes! Right underneath, and that was already an offensive bar uh -huh. spent. The knowledge there. Here we it's go. The mids. The re-stands. More mids. Cautious that he gets to basic. He's got it. Wow, what and a back then two. And that was actually a breakaway. Maybe an know. accident, maybe an accident. Yeah, I was maybe just going to say it might have been. So now Dubasic has a lot of screen control. Huge life lead. There's no fatal blow from this TT side. Oh, and just wow. like that, we have ourselves a match. Ladies and gentlemen, it's one all as Dizzy TT goes back to character select. And his face still not, still <laughs> did not change yet. No. <laughs> he doesn't feel the pressure yet. You cannot tell what's happening by looking at him. No, no, no. no way. Sonia. Yeah, I don't know if, if he actually plays any of the characters on, on a high level. Dizzy TT. Only ever seen um, yeah. Sonya. All right. Final match. Round one. Fight. Well, the basic I thought had a really good stage control in the last one. Full screens. Up. Oh, oh the beautiful knowledge. understanding of where he was. Wow. That was gorgeous right there by Dizzy TT, who now has the corner as a result. And big damage opportunity. This has Dizzy TT written all it. over it. That one approach. Oh, here's a chance now. That, that is an important wake up. Okay, restand. Restand. Gonna get it's a gonna couple hurt. hundred off. No, could have on that down one. Must get the Miss. down one. He's still in there, Dubasic. Oh, wow. Anti air jab. Gets the corner switch. Match point, Dizzy TT. That really could have been huge Round if the basic had completed fight. that corner combo. Yeah, the down That ones. could have been a huge swing. He did that in the uh, button check as well. So, <laughs> all right, out of the corner. Will there be the kick now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, we've seen it so much. Nice fall as well. Slowly inching, inching here. Oh, good trade there. Uh, not this time. Out, but no Fool me up. once. Now you can only inch so far. Almost into the corner now is Dubasic. Finally glows. Right? Oh. A little staggering. Down one. Instantly it comes in. Oh, wow. Dubasic is in big trouble here. Down two. Not finding its more. Yeah, the low. low. Cancel. Yes, yeah. a big. He, oh, he didn't Expecting even try a breakaway, but doesn't even matter. Dizzy comes right back in for the kick, and that's going to do it. He moves on. Winner's side. Winning his pool. Top 16. That that's was right, yeah. Top 16. Now, Dubasic is going to have to play versus Boki to get out of the pool. That is going to be loser's finals of that pool. I wonder if we're going to have that on stream. That would be so sick. That could be Wait cool. a minute, David. He sat right back down. Is this what Wait we're a yep, minute. So, Boki, obviously an Austrian, so now. he is, you know, a crowd favorite, and it's just gorgeous to see the crowd always getting hyped over almost every single hit. Oh, that is, this is rough for the basic that he has to play back-to-back -back matches after losing that clutchly. You know, yeah, that's true. That happens sometimes. He was on the other side of the pool from Boki, so they haven't played yet today. Oh, right. Boki sent to loser side by Dizzy. Mm -hmm. But then Boki had to make it through a few players in order to get here. So they both beating Mudrak and Aziz. Uh huh. They both lost to the same player. Then <laughs> they both lost to Dizzy. No, sh exactly. no, no shame to losing against uh, Dizzy TT. Right, right. No right. shame to losing against Sonia. So th that combination is just you know. No, you're right. Pretty you're, rough. You're definitely pretty right. Rough. Yeah. Pretty rough. But uh, so this is going to be Jade versus Kung Lao then. I think so. Yeah, for sure. Boki, I don't think he plays any other character. Been infamous uh, for playing. Um, Kung Lao and MKX as well, so I'd be surprised if he would go with the character change here as these gentlemen are setting up. Yeah. Trying to make it out of their pool in loser's side. Oh, David, wait a minute. What's this, up? this might be the first elimination of the day on stream, anyway. On stream, it is. Yeah. Oh. A bunch of people have been eliminated already. 
Oh. Like everybody in the pool except for Dizzy and sure. these two. But, sure. yeah, first one on stream. Oh, no. Yeah, I well, think. just seeing that in the brackets for me is one thing, but actually seeing it in person, you know. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> That's brutal, man. It That's brings brutal. it home a little bit more, huh? <laughs> <laughs> feel it a little bit more strongly? Yes, I feel that. All right, they're just going to check the buttons first. Yeah, it should be a good one. Mm -hmm. Of course, Lotus Fist, Kung Lao. Little different take on the character. I wonder if Kung Lao's teleport is fast enough to punish anything full screen coming from Jade, but I doubt it. I, you know, if you make a hard read, I think, but it's yeah. not. It's on reaction, no Probably way. not, right? No yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. If it's going to be the, the dive kick, probably. This is not training mode to basic. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> if you don't get it, so be it. <laughs> that was huge, though, honestly. Yeah, yeah, the drop, the drop. Versus Dizzy, that really could have changed things He's up. He's still thinking about it, you can tell. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in that match versus Dizzy, the fact that Dizzy approached via the interactable and then Ooh. to basic drop the combo in the corner, Ooh. those two things were huge. That was really a big part of why Dizzy moves on in winter side. Mm -hmm. But we're in losers now. He's still in there. He can make this happen. Yeah. So, loser of this is going home. Boki versus to basic. It's going to be Jade versus Kung Lao. Fight. Uh huh. We talked about that. That's right. So, we're probably going to see a lot of jumping from Boki. Well, maybe not. No need if you're just pressuring and it's all working out. Wow. The big read down two. There's no defensive bar right now. Oh, this hurts versus this character, huh? I think it could have hurt even more. Good trade there. Better in the sky. Down for Orbital Hat. The classic. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Orbital Hall Hat's minus seven. It really shouldn't be Kung Lao's turn after that. <laughs> you know, but we've seen him do that a bunch of times. It's just one of those things, man. In his heart, he's probably plus even. I think it's true. <laughs> Back two. No punish there. Ow. Keep it up. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Really wants Man. this. Okay. That was all, all right. out of down two from the sky. What was that? Four spins? Wow. What a flawless block. I think he tried to up three there. Yeah, it just didn't have bar. Yeah, exactly. But below this matchup, is not going to do a lot, I think. Uh -huh. Probably not super important. Yeah. Just do it for good measure. Staggering a little bit here. There we go. That is one nice thing about Lotus. Oh, here we go. Down to no way to escape. Legit damage wow. from Jade. Nice block there. Really solid blocks coming from oh, both keep it up. Here. Yeah, that's nice. Is there going to be an escape? No. You, I mean, he had breakaway. Wow. And then, that, wow, that's going to be it. Pokey takes game one with a brutal again. It's unfortunate to die with two bars of defensive meter. Then. Yeah, right. He didn't die from the combo, but if he hadn't taken that damage, maybe it would have been yeah, a Yeah, just result. reset Hard the situation. Know, you know? Yeah. I mean, maybe he was trying to hold on to it for the threat of a wake-up attack after the knockdown. Yeah, 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 I don't possibly. Know. Yeah. He's thinking about this. He's feeling himself, literally. I think he likes what he feels. That's the expression <laughs> on his face I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> David. <laughs> All right, game two here. Fight. It wasn't lopsided. No. Oh, now that's the danger. If you don't tech on reaction, the threat of a fourth four becomes so, so prominent. Yeah, hard just just be preemptive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowing it way down here in T-Basic. I like it. Oh, yeah. This is the style for sure. It's just unfortunate he's going to put himself into the corner if he goes too far, as we've seen him do. Down four orbit net. Down three, four, four. He's not going to be the kill. This is good. Tries to jump out of the corner. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Uh, yeah. I would have at least liked him to see, you know, jump over him or something, you know, get the space again. Two. And a little Fight. bit of a bummer for Boki that he spent the down two crush on that. He probably um, plays with the uh, crush blow on, right? Or held off. Oh, without the check? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Possibly. 
But this is match point. Boki here to stay alive in the tournament. To basic on the elimination point. He's in trouble. Yes. The that's bat. a pretty hard read right the there. Big bet from that far away yeah, as that well. Yeah, that that's true. It wasn't close. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Let's get his turn this time. Too basic. You know, a lot of his wins have come from this kind of pressure. It hasn't all been zoning or even primarily about it. Here was Boki. Wow! He was still able to throw escape that. Let us see. 4-4. Four four. Wow, does not get Jimmy this time. Backing off here. Too basic trying to control things. But this, like I said, move back too far and you're right. going to be in... Well, okay, now he's out of the corner. Finally. Oh, that would have been cool. Confirmed. Wait. Restent. Right Wait. back in. It's not going to be enough. Not quite. Stagger. Okay, now he's basically just blocking it out. He's concerned. This is a problem. Boki has fatal blow. The chip. That's the threat. Okay, ah, okay, okay. okay. It, so. Still on life support. Do basic still in this, but Boki still on match point. Final round. Fight. Let's see if Boki can move in. Do basic trying to control this guy. Here we go. Down one. I'd like to see more throws come from the basic, but I think he's just afraid of those down twos. He would seem very few, huh? Uh oh. Right in. Down three. Bulky. Getting the grab for himself. He's still on match point here. That's oh. Threatened with the hop. Nothing. Four at four. He's finally not getting clipped anymore by that. Air Give air. it up. Yep. The basic has to really convert here. He's got the corner. Hello. And we've seen him do well here when he has the corner. Back two coming through. Oh, back to back. Do, oh no, he puts oh himself no. in the corner. That, a little bit of extra damage, but at what cost? Wait, wait, Boki has fatal blow. This is this is so unfortunate. Gets the grab, escape, escape failed, failed as well. As well. Now What's you're it? worried about the back throw. Ah, ah, up three whips. Down for, oh, no anti-air. Oh, oh, oh. Mids, mids, mids. Jump in. Back oh. throw. Oh, that's crushing blow. That is it. That yes. is going to do it. That's it. Boki ends up taking it and qualifying through loser's side. I think the story of the end of the match there was to basic putting himself in the corner yes. by spending the bar. Yes. He Again, a little bit of extra damage, but yeah, I just but don't know that it was worth it. As you said, at what cost?